Hello everyone, my name is Lorthorn and welcome back to Minecraft Tech Mods. Okay, let's um, do something interesting. So, what I want to do is um, make, what is it called? The automated farming for the hemp. It does grow remarkably fast, doesn't it? But, uh, uh, automated farm is a rather difficult process which will require a considerable amount of iron. I think. Yes, iron? It'll require a bit of iron anyways. Although we're, we got a lot of hemp here actually, come to think of it. And oh, some aubergines. How about that? They even think I hey, planted that. Whatever. So, the automated farm. Very straightforward. It's like most automated farms. It just requires a small amount of ingenuity and you can get it done. So, we require more wood than we have on ourselves right now, so we can go get that. And we require some redstone, which I happen to know I have a lot of, so we're fine on that account. And we require stone, which I have a good amount of cobblestone. So, we need the redstone, we'll take these blocks, and we need more iron. It's always the iron. Never can get enough of that stuff, now can I? Right. That, it's got 91 more blocks in it. Oh. Great. Um, stop using the book. 91 more blocks. Not, not likely to get me anywhere with that. Okay. Well, we'll just take those sails for now. And we will make a copper pickaxe? Can we make a copper pickaxe? Yes, we can. 200 durability, slow. We also got the diamond one with efficiency. Just eat a few of these. Okay, right, what level can you even break up to? Hmm, yeah, I shouldn't have made it. Whatever. We are going to go to the pit, of course. Where else would you mine but your mining pit? It's kind of like the, the, the whole point of the thing is to be a mine. Um, now, hopefully we will not encounter the demonic incursion again. Well, I mean, it would be fine if we can, like, rush it quick enough and plant some torches and then run away. I just don't really... Oh, no, we don't want to go this way. That's right. We don't want to go this way. That's just... There's resources, but, yeah. This way. Oh, bugger me. Well, then. I guess we're uh, down deep in a hole. Okay. That's fine. As long as we don't get into any lava, we should be good. Right. Now, if we can get a little bit of height and climb our way back out of here. No, what? I'll just teleport back up to the top. Right. Silly, I know, but it is the most efficient, I think, way to go about things. Right. Now we can get down this little path here. A little path, the non. Like, this leads nowhere, does it not? Yes. Uh, I am so easily misled. Oh, How foolish am I? Constantly think, perhaps this way, there is the resources. But no, I am wrong. She is not there. She is elsewhere. Yes. But now, oh, oh sorry. We have the iron. Uh, enough with the accent. It's probably offensive to someone. Oh! I actually got the torch on it. How about that? Well then. Lucky me, I guess. Oh, enough mass steel to make a pickaxe. Dark boots. With enchantments. Micro anvil. Empowered jump. Alright, very nice, very nice. A lot of buckets. Uh, in here, aren't there? Well, I will take a copious amount of buckets. Well, that's really all there is to this place, isn't that? It's the iron in that place. Well, that's fine. This is good. Okay, and a bit of iron is always grand. So, wow. This empowered jump's actually quite high. And it's like quicker than a normal jump, too. That's, that's something. Quite something. We, we got gains, ladies and gentlemen. We got gains. We also have a tunnel to explore. Ay! Yeah, yeah, it's zombies. Well, 
They are no match for me and my blade. I am the greatest fighter in the land. Helity, on guard. Ho ho! Slash slash, snickersnacky. I've defeated him with ease. Hey, <laughs> Monsieur. Okay. Wait, wasn't I stopping that? But this is different. This is a Devonar Suave. Ah, oh, yes. Devonar and Suave. That's my middle name. Well, actually, my middle name is Raymond. It's not even Raymond. <laughs> it's Ray. Don't even get a Raymond. It's Ray. Actually, I like Ray a lot better than Raymond. Raymond sounds kind of like, yeah, ooh, the Raymond. And there's like a horrible TV show of um, Everyone Loves Raymond, whereas Ray is a ray of light, which I think is a very charming way to say it. My male name means light beam, baby. <laughs> um, although, you'd never catch me doing that. Okay, right, there we go. Um, oh, that's iron. Yeah, but my middle name literally means light. Um, not sure why that was picked. Middle names are a weird one. I'm not really certain what to do with them. Like, sometimes they're there and sometimes they're not. And, you know, they can be cool and chill sometimes. Other times it's just like, okay, I have a middle name. Floopty flippity do. Why do I do this? Like, one of my friends has the middle name of Merlin, which is, I think, pretty cool. He's a wizard. Um, no, I think it might be Merlin the animal. Never one of my friends has the middle name of Giovanni. Um, not because his parents were huge Pokemon fans, but because that's the name of one of his grandparents. Um, which is weird because his family's Scottish where that grandfather came from, but you know, every, everyone's been everywhere at one point or another. Well, unless they haven't been. Still, yeah. I mean, I know someone else who's named Garhart because um, his grandfather who went missing in the war was named Garhart. And so he was named Garhart in honor of the grandfather that um, he never got to meet. Huh. Well, there's a hole right there. Just when I thought I was getting somewhere. Oh, well. We got 20 iron, which is uh, good enough. Good enough. Uh, back to the plateau. Okay. Now, the moment of the truth. And so we have the grinder. Yes. Can I grind the buckets? No. Now, don't go into them, because they are deadly. Oh, my knee. Very, very dangerous. Um, can I, like, melt down buckets? I think the arc forest can do it, but... Yeah. Just gonna look up uses here for a second. Is there, like, any... Okay, so I can smelt them, but I'm not going to do that. Um, an industrial smelter can break them down. If I mix a little bit of sand with them. Nice. Can fill them with blood, can turn them into a void thing. Okay, so, and their buckets. Buckets are useful in general, right? So, there's uh, more cobblestone. And we'll get rid of whatever that stuff is. Lovely. Lovely stuff. And we are getting a lot of resources out of this. Of course, it's running quite slow because it's limited with its power uses. But that's what this pulverized iron is all about. And now we take this stuff here, we smelt that down, and boom, we get le iron. Yes, I, that, which translates to iron. Um, iron ingots, and it doubles the amount you get out of it. So pulverizing iron is actually quite good. It like grinds it down, filters out all the rocks. That's what the crusher is for. It's also quite noisy. Sounds like my washing machine, actually. Huh? What? Well, you know. The world's a funny and ironic place. Okay. Man, this character goes through blueberries almost as fast as I do. Um, yeah, I, I eat a lot of blueberries quite quickly. Hmm. Okay. That's even more pulverized iron. Good, 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 good. And, uh, wood. We shall get the wood now. There we go. Okay. Right. Are you, you going to Scarborough Fair, Parsley Sage, Rosemary, and Time? Remember me to one who lives there, for she once was a true love of mine. Um. 
Okay, it's only four rubber. We can get rid of that. Okay, cool. Jets are cool. Our inventory is full of guff. It's all fine, though. Here we go. So, now all we need to do is dig ourselves a hole. But before that, we're going to make a chest. So before that, we need a crafting table. And then we go that there. Then we go, hey, chest, cool. And then we go that there. And then we're like, hey, everybody. Get out of my inventory. You're taking up all the space. Although I will need you, I'll need you. I don't need any of you at the moment. I will need you. I'm going to hold on to you two as well. And I'll take you there. We need you. And then we need a Le Bacchant. Yes. Good. And shovel. Don't have any shovels. That's fine. Well, I wanted to keep that, though. I'll make a shovel. Um, yes. Perfect. Okay. Right. Um, that doesn't work. How about that? Tin shovel. Is it a shovel? It works. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ish. We'll go with twelve. Okay. And the water just needs to be flowing. But we can do better than that. Speaking of water. Watch Poyo today. It was weird. Very weird. It's like the little mermaid, but Japanese and Ghibli. It's quite good though. Recommend it. Anyhow's it. Um We're going to need the hoe. I'll just make one out of wood. Quick, dirty, easily done. Uh, okay, right. Uh doop 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 doop. There we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And yoop doop doop. All right, perfect. Now, all we need to do is put a layer of structural integrity over here in a very simple pattern. So we get that there. Uh, we'll get an, another, I guess, two layers here. Yeah, why not? It's very pink. This is pink industries now. Okay. Um, then we can just do this for hoots and giggles. Kind of want to be in straight lines. A little bit unnecessary. I'm just like misclicking and too lazy to get rid of it. So we're just going to fix that. There we go. And get that there. Like so. And that there. Like so. Yeah. I think we need that extra one there. Okay, cool. Jets are cool and rearing to go. And we just gotta go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. That's that taken care of. Now we need one of you for each one of these. And then we need do 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 really set these to all really slow uh, for this to work they all have to be really slow also i need like a break in between one of them uh there we go okay now i simply wire the whole silly thing up like so all the way over here, put that there, and we put that there, and then we hop all the way back over here. Okay, hopefully this works. Uh, right, now we'll go with, how about over here, I'll just bust out all the works. Get these going this way, like so. 
Yep. I know. I know what I am doing. Definitely. And if I ever don't know, I can't double jump. For a second there, I thought I could. A little disappointed. All right. I oh, will just do the old two by two layer. Ants came marching two by two. Hurrah. Hurrah. That's not meant to be there. All right. Ants came marching two by two. Hurrah. <laughs> Always like that song. Not exactly sure why, but I do. All right. There's a signal. Hey, my. Okay. Um, right. Well, that's a flaw in my ointment. So, we're going to fix that flaw. I was worried that this would happen. Um, so, we have to build a little bypass here. Like so. Uh, and... So, oh, this will signal to itself, though, won't it? Maybe? Maybe we don't build the bypass and we just go right over here with it. And then we might get enough range to actually bring her back. It, no, I don't trust it, so we're going to do that there. We'll drop that there. We'll long cook those. Each one. I'll long click this one. There we go. Alright. And now it'll flow through them. What? Still doesn't. Oh no, it, it makes it now. Alright. Now, hopefully, that's enough time to grow, and I'll just make it like better in the future. And. Oh, we have that automated, that's very nice, but we can also still do it manually, which is equally nice. So, we're going to do a little bit of manual farming. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. If you wish to farm with me, I'm afraid that um, this field is closed for business. And, um, wait a minute. Do I have... Um, I don't have the shears on me. There's a mod where if you hit Creeper with shears, you um, can stop it from exploding. And you get Creeper berries out of it, which is you don't think about. But, yeah. Don't have that mod. It would seem. So, your berries are safe for now, Mr. Creeper. Oops. Well, a little bit of broken fields. Not going to harm nobody. Yeah, they'll have enough time to grow. It's just the sound of industry. I love it. Oh, I do love myself the sound of industry in the morning. It sounds like victory. Okay. Now, the full wheel winder is what we want to go for. Whoop. Ba doop. And then, we take these like so. Yes, there we go. We're going to get three at least out of this. Yeah, nice. Three more sails for the sail god. Skulls for the sail throne. Wait, that's not right at all. You should be able to get going again. Anvil time. Oh, I didn't take damage. How about that? Well, it's definitely gained power faster. Still needs more sails, but the grinders be a grinding. Yep, pulverize aluminum. Excellent. Well, we will leave it there for a day. So thank you all for watching. And until next time, goodbye.